As we gather and receive in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, so may we be inspired and fed through word, through sacrament, through fellowship, and through prayer. For it is in Christ's name that we gather and pray. Amen. The number of times that Jesus pulls us up on things which we don't mean. Good teacher has all that air of being a set, expected phrase. It's not something that comes from this man's heart. It's just what he knows he ought to say. Hence, Jesus turns to him and says, Why do you call me good? To give the man his due, he's a quick learner. The next time he speaks, it's simply, Teacher, Jesus, looking at him, loved him. Well, if love is to put one another's interests and well-being ahead of one's own, what does it mean here between these two as we look on, as we listen, and as we imagine this scene? I imagine Jesus pausing at this moment, looking on the man reading the body language, trying to understand that which hasn't been put into words, looking into his eyes, seeing what is the intention, the seeking of his heart. We all do it. That's why conversations one-to-one are so much more effective than phone or email or text or all those other things that I really don't understand, but feel free to ask the girls about because they do. Social media, it's a mystery. Jesus looked on him and loved him. You lack one thing. A pastoral, if somewhat mystical, response. Or, you lack one thing. A response to somebody who likes to make lists and tick them off since their youth. Or, You lack one thing, only one, so nearly there. Does it make any difference the way we read it or hear it? Maybe, maybe not. The one thing, treasure in heaven. For this rich man, it was all on earth. It was all in his hands. It was all so hard to let go. How hard it will be for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. How hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. They were astounded. Because for generations it it had been understood that wealth was a sign of blessing. Hence, who can be saved? If not those who are blessed, then who? The collision of not possible with all possible. Two mindsets two views of the heart, two understandings of the world, meeting, colliding, discussing, dancing together in these two men and in those who listen around them, which from then to now includes us. We cannot save ourselves. The multimillionaire with their security gates, their cameras and their staff cannot save themselves from the highly embroidered and upholstered empty prison. The young man with no money, with a knife, cannot save himself from the fear. The human heart that wants to do it all oneself, be self-sufficient, 
cannot of oneself alone befriend God. Drop the possessions. Drop the knife. Drop the posturing or the pride. Open one hand, one's hands to receive one thing. Treasure in heaven. Even just one heavenly coin of treasure. For me, the word treasure inspires that piratical image of doubloons and gold coins. So go with that image. Just that one. See how it shines. Brighter than anything else. Have another. And then a few more. See how they come. See how they build and how they interest and delight us. And see how somehow they are a treasure that is not static like those things of earth. But they shine and move and flow and illuminate everything else. They give a glitter and a sparkle and a hope of warm brightness. And suddenly we find we're in conversation with the one who gives such gifts. In conversation with the king. Our king. In conversation even before we could be embarrassed by the thought of doing such a thing. Because we're simply united with him in joyful understanding and appreciation of the joy of this gift. We, who thought we were so low, who walled ourselves in, armed ourselves against the world, fought to be recognised and appreciated and to be independent, now, suddenly, genuinely and entirely freely, we could risk it all. Because we know we have it all and so much more. That treasure which inspires everything. Jesus looking at him Loved him. Amen.